International Labor Rights Forum and we're out here today with the Cotton Campaign and supporters to protest forced labor in Turkmenistan and advocate for Gaspar Matalev to be freed is, uh, immediately. Rachel Denver. I'm Deputy Director for Europe and Central Asia at Human Rights Watch. And I came out to this protest against forced child labor in Turkmenistan's cotton sector. i um, here for a couple of reasons. First, I'm here because it's General Assembly Week and Turkmenistan's President Gorban Ghali Berdi Mohamedov has been here. And Turkmenistan is a country that uses forced labor in its cotton sector. It forces people who, most of the people who are state employees, so teachers, doctors, anyone paid from the state budget, it pretty much forces them to go and pick cotton uh, during the cotton harvest and have other things to do with the cotton sector. It also forces children, school children, to, uh, to pick cotton during the harvest. And if you don't pick cotton, you get in trouble. You, if you can't pick cotton, you have to find, basically you have to find someone else and pay them to pick the cotton for you. This is a huge human rights violation. It's, it's very bad. And um, the second reason why we're here is because our colleague, uh, Gaspar Matulayev, Gaspar Matulayev is somebody who actually reported about uh, the forced labor in Turkmenistan's cotton sector and the, about just uh, two days after his photos and his reportage about forced labor in Turkmenistan's cotton sector was published on, uh, on a website. He was arrested and jailed on completely bogus, uh, clumsy, uh, very uh, transparently polit politically motivated uh, charges. And he's now serving uh, his second year of a three-year prison term and he should be freed immediately. So that's why I'm here. Thank you. Do you want to, this is Gaspar. He's my name's Adam. I work with the Retail, Wholesale, and Department Store Union in New York City. And we regularly support the International Labor Rights Forum and events that they put on uh, to show global solidarity from our members of our union to other people in, in different countries and working people around the world. Thank you. So what do you think about today's action? What, what is happening here? Um, well, I mean, there's child labor, which is a problem, and is any type of forced labor is something that I think that the union stands against. So that's why we're here to show folks out there that are being forced that they have to work um, in, in the cotton fields that it's not something that should be allowed.